What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Curators Club NYC. And who we got up here today? Oh, me? Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You supposed to say who we got up here. I about. want you to tell me who <laughs> you are, sir. Male singer. <laughs> Welcome Bugs. to the Curious Not my boy. Club. I'm Kenya Tere. <laughs> we have Whitney with Jay, Jay. And we're so excited about what we're talking about today. We're talking about rap and relationships. Relationships. Sheesh. Rapping. I should have had us sit out there then. You should have oh. said, said it all. <laughs> yeah, she should have Rap and relationships. Yeah, starting some shit. What's going shit. on, Goods? How um, you been? I'm chilling. I'm all right. I haven't seen you in a very long time. Morgan, yeah. I, I, I left out of... Uh, City, that's why. What's going on? Where, where have you been? Working. The city, when you when, when you live in New York, it, it clutters your mind. I agree. I learned that it, it, it keeps your mind cluttered. Once I left, my mind was more open, and I started knocking down things that I really wanted to accomplish. When you live in the city, it's just it's, it's clutter. Too much clutter. So I've just been working. So you feel like it gives you more focus? Definitely, because you could plan your your next moves. I, I learned that like when I fly out to go places, it, it's way slower than New York. You know what I'm saying? So, but when you go there, they be saying like it's so slow in New York. It's so quick. I understand it because you down there, you get to think though. You can open your mind up and think about and plan what you want to do. In New York, you can't do that. You That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I, I've so. been noticing uh, a lot of your production in terms of you know being self made. You would consider mm. yourself. Self-made. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So as a battle rapper, um, producing all of your content for mm -hmm. social media, what have you been doing in the pandemic that you feel has been outstanding before 2020? Um, what was your highlight of working in the pandemic? I came out with a cologne. Really? And it was successful. So that was, that's like one of the biggest things. What's the name uh, of the cologne? I got, I'm actually on my second scent. My first thing I came up with in November is called Slick Talk Leather. Congratulations. Thank you. And then go I got and get a, that. Yeah, I got a, uh, my second scent dropped in February, and it's called Chocolate Leather. So I got two scents out right now. Oh, I like that. That's dope. Oh, yeah, I got to give me a couple of them joints. Yeah, so yeah, we can follow you. Uh, uh, we can purchase this through your grand. Yeah, I got a, um, yeah, I have a, uh, a site, nothingbutgoods.com. The first one, I dropped the first one, I started it like, working it out, selling it out the trunk like they do now. You know what I'm saying? And they all the mixtapes. Yeah, word, that's how word. you make all your money. Then I thought that it was coming becoming too much. I actually teamed up with the lady that was that helped me make the cologne. Like when I go to make it, her mm -hmm. own shop. She saw me doing so good. She wanted to team up with me. So now I create the site and um I got her doing all the distribution, sending everything out and doing all that show. Yeah. That's solid. Mm -hmm. As far as music is concerned, because that was like a surprise for me, the cologne. You ain't know that? That's crazy. Never. I didn't even hear about it, so I definitely need to go. You said all about the goods? Nothing but goods. Nothing but goods. I need to go check you out on there. Yeah. But as far as the music is concerned, don't you got a, a battle coming up? No, no, no. I don't have a battle. I just did one in December with uh versus Geechee Gotti. I got a, a tape out right now called Slick Talk. Slick Talk EP. How many EPs? I mean, how many um, tracks? Uh, I think it's six on there. I try to, I learned when you do it like that, makes people listen. When you try to put too much on one joint, they're not going to listen to the whole thing. You put a good five, six on there, it'll make them listen, and then we play it again. You know what I'm saying? High like replay some value. Songs. Yeah, yeah, some songs are sticking in their head. Nah, back in the day, it used to work. It's like songs ain't as long as they was no more. It used to, it used to be uh, three minutes. Now songs is like two minutes. It's incredible. When yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for more when I'm listening to a two-minute track. Some Wait a minute. Like That's the thing, but you're going but you gonna to play it back again. Exactly. Well, it depends on if it has replayability. Right. Because if it doesn't have that, then I'm going to just look at it as a dub. Right. <laughs> Then That's that, a fact. They they they, they, sh they striked out then. That was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got you got hit them so quick. So you're saying it's the culture that we've uh, that we've grown into the music culture. I mean, even on radio, they don't allow stuff over three minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, it probably went down lower than that. I know it used to be three minutes, but now it's probably, it's probably lower than that. Back in the day, you used to have long songs like ten people on a drink. They don't they don't do that no more. Like a four and a half it. minute song. Yeah, it used to be four and a half minute songs. Yes. They, don't, they don't do that no more. I guess so. what I would want to get to know in terms of an emerging artist. We live in a much different culture with mm -hmm. social media, with uh, followers. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think has <laughs> been your, what has been successful for you in terms of, you know, going from a culture that was before YouTube, before, maybe it was MySpace culture, like back, yeah. like early, maybe early, maybe 2005. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the social, to now, social, fast forward. Yeah, social media 
actually made things easier because you could get known and you could be in your house. Before right. years, you have to be word of mouth. You used to have to really. But get does out. that mean you were quality? Mm-hmm. Because you're known. No. Okay. I don't. That's okay. but that that's what it is. Right now, what today is it's just what you see. You don't got nothing to do with it if you're nice or it's just what you see. What you what you make up, what people could believe. You mix enough for them to believe, and they believe it, then you're good. I mean, that's the messed up part about what's going on there. So how's that? How has that benefited you? In uh, your trajectory of your artistry. With social media. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when you when you got social media in there, you don't need a site really. Like you said, I said I got the nothing but good site. I didn't. You don't really need stuff like that no more. You could just put stuff on social media. You could sell stuff from social media. You could promote yourself through social media. Shit, you don't need a manager. You got a social media. People will hit you up. They in your DMs booking you and stuff like that. I get a lot of bookings through through my um social media, and I got a, a email where they post to email me and book me, and I get more bookings through my social media because the times change. So Congratulations. Media, yeah, so through social media, I get booked the most. So it's like you don't really need somebody to go out and do the work for you. They, they could just hit you right there, and you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, because you could run th- so ads. So you could run next ads for that. Years, yeah. So in the next five years, what do you foresee for artists in terms of being entrepreneurs and making your own money and making your – without a label, without a without a Def Jam or yeah, well, RCA. No, they don't need that. No, they don't – artists don't need that now because of social media and stuff. Like you see these – these these people coming out now, they getting big off of like TikTok and Instagram, and they you see and they say you Instagram right. famous, and you could really be Instagram famous. You could be nobody and you still just book have, shows and make forty a show, hundred a show. Definitely, you right now. I mean, I agree because yeah. I go on Instagram sometimes and I'm like, who is this person? They, and they verified they got however many albums out. I now. just noticed that there's a lot of uh, people who likes. are buying followers, who are buying yeah. likes. That's yeah. what's scary for me. Yeah. So if people you can't are... Streams, though, in the downloads. Nah. So definitely can't. Can. What if you can? That's You, ex- it, so you can buy them, but so it's, I wanna, it's the way they funnel it. Yeah, that, yeah. that, that don't make it true. You buying it for the look. Yeah, it, yeah. You, it looks like something, mm-hmm. but when it... When they when they go to look at it like and it don't add up to nothing, mm-hmm. it just looks like something. Mm-hmm. So to you, to us, you might look at it and be like, oh, like who this dude? Oh, he popping, but that's mm-hmm. it. So they kind of like hackers. Uh, I, I don't consider it a hacker. Fakers. T- yeah. Fakers. I mean, it's a yeah, cheat code. Like, it I like feel like, like it's like cheat code. Yeah. Fake it till you make it type shit. That's that's how niggas be playing it that's nowadays. A, a lot of niggas doing that shit. That's a fact. I do see them craziness on the um, Instagram, but sliding into just relationships how do you feel like relationships and social media are doing right now Jesus. Oh, like putting like putting your relationship like in. i legit just had a whole phone call with somebody that was literally just talking about they weren't being posted enough and i didn't understand like the the quality of the conversation i was having because i'm like well, what difference does it really make but i can't say that not my boy you're because like, you're not you know, posting nothing <laughs> that's why I'm not my boy I can't say that. I, to me to, to, to me that's a, a a millennium thing you know what i'm saying i mean i didn't grow up in social media for me i got 171,000 followers i don't want all those people in my personal business with in my relationship that that's going to mess up your relationship that's how i know how people could be in social media and be on it they never last Everybody right. you see relationship with social media do not last. That's a fact. When you see them posting up, you're like, oh, they're such a cute couple. They don't last. A couple of months, they've broken up because you're putting too much people in your business. So I don't, I, I just don't, I don't believe in, if, if I want to post a picture here and there, I would. You know, so I would, but I'm not going to every day post because I'm putting so much people in my business. It's like, it's like when you're cooking yeah. in the kitchen, you don't want everybody in the kitchen while you're cooking. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. That's how I look at I'm it. I'm trying to like challenge myself to actually think of a couple that has lasted. You nah, might be right. No, they, they don't last. But then, but Will you, and Jada. But they yeah. last. Yeah. She was fucking August. How she did that? They are not no, divorced. No, no, excuse they, you. They excuse you. Excuse you. Everyone talks about what she did, but how about when she was completely unsatisfied, dissatisfied with Will? I can't believe that. I, I'm just. It didn't last. All which I said right. they it, are it, still together. <laughs> it looks. She didn't wrong. cheat. They were separated, but. So in the, on the topic of cheaters, I do want to ask a very significant question about relationships. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad it's about rapping relationships today because we're going to figure this thing out. I have no yeah. comment to give. I um, am curious what you would do mm-hmm. and what you think about. So I guess it's a two-part question. Mm-hmm. What do you feel, what do you think about couples as well as what you would do when it comes to if you found out your your partner com- confirmation confirm your partner was cheating and why we take them back. Look, 
well. So I guess it's a two part question. So God, first part is why do you think we take them back? And then for you, I can't. I see. Like, look, for guys, it's different. W- women are better with with the with the, like feelings and emotions and stuff like that. I think women are stronger than us when it comes to like dealing with those type of things. That's why you see a, a, a woman to take a man back if they cheat. And they're stronger than dealing with that. Us. If you cheat on me, I'm never gonna be able to get over it. I'm you still, of, you still smashing that. Well, you're getting over it. You're moving on. Stop n- it. You're still, nah. you, you boomeranging back. Stop. Nah, I'm good. I can't. I'm gonna think about you I fucking like a nigga all the time. All the time. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm, I'm explaining to you. Listen, as a man, I'm telling you from a man point of view. I'm listening. I'm concurring. I could want to get over it. I could love you to death. But every thought in my head, every minute of the day, is it gonna be me thinking about that man touching you, fucking you, doing what I do to you? Period. It's not, it's not ever gonna leave. I could want it to leave. I could go get help for it. It ain't never gonna leave. And I'm saying that to say because we're not mentally strong. Men are meant to be physically strong and, and providers. We are not meant. We, that's not when you put on your own. Say, oh, he's. Uh, you say a man's emotional. What they say, he's soft, right? Because that's not put on us. We're not supposed to be. Y'all are emotionally strong, so y'all can deal with stuff like that. I could deal with the tug of the weight. I could fight five <laughs> niggas right now for you and get beat up and, get, and be good after. But if it comes to me dealing with something emotionally, I'm not as strong. So if you cheat on me or do anything like that, I'm never going to be able to get over it, ever. And it's not that I don't want to. It's going to be hard for me because I'm not mentally that strong. I think that that's every man's thought until they it happens and then they... I back with the person. I get. I mean, I can't. Bingo. I, listen, <laughs> you seen I'm the saying? best man when he was, he yeah, was yeah, yeah. saying I do, and that shit was flashing in his when head. I spe- look, he I stayed with her though. <laughs> yeah, no, because he did. She, because he knew why she was she doing what she was doing. <laughs> Hello. No, but I'm I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking that. I'm talking for me. I can't. Mm. Talk, and I'm not saying every every man, every man is different. You're right. It, it, but listen, it's some men that's mentally or emotionally that strong they could deal with that, and I commend them. I commend them. I'm not mostly that strong where I could deal with. What about you? My woman cheating. No, nah, that, that's that's I, I facts. If you cheat on me, I, I'm gonna be thinking about it. It's it's gonna be in my mind. I'm the type of nigga that I, I'm not gonna really show up, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna bring it to you. Like yo, that shit be on my mind from time to time. You see, you know what I mean? You, you got a me. history. You got a history. But you see this? He he's 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 stronger emotionally than I am. Because I wouldn't be able to even do that. Yeah, I, the, rela- the relationship is never going to be the same. It's never going to be the same. I'm always going to look at same. you in okay, a way. Okay, but can I ask ever. you this? I want to ask both Let's, let's forget about... Let, okay, so in hindsight, or in respect of Women's History Month, let's mm. pay homage to all the women who... Your mother, my mother, Whitney's mother, Nam's mother. Hi, Mom. We, we, we as women, like you said, we're strong, we're Very. emotionally fortified. Strong, period. But... It bothers me that you're going to sit in this session, in this episode, and talk about you can't get over a woman cheating when we're supposed to walk away with the fact that you cheated on us. I never said that ever. Okay, so we're supposed to just walk away from you. I'm not, I'm not saying what you're supposed to do. You, you are your own woman. You're supposed to do what you want to do as a woman. I'm not telling you what to do. I think so, that's a, Thank so, you. That's a big... What I'm telling you is if you that's choose important. to walk away, I, I, ha- I respect it because I, I cheated. It's not I could do. It's up to me to fight and try to get you back and do whatever I do. You ain't supposed to do nothing at that point. So I can't tell you how to feel or what to do. I'm not saying it is like no, you supposed to stay and I can't take it. I walk away. Nah, that's not that's not right. It's equal. The same way if if I cheat on you and you can't take it that much and you don't want to be there, I respect it. It's up to so me. So then to go fight away. Don't whatever. keep coming back. Don't keep don't after I block you on my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my whatever. Yeah. Don't pop up. At the nearest picnic no, or whatever, I, so that's it. I get. I, I mean, I don't. If that's what it is. But that's, that's how men are, is. Whitney. You don't think that they just don't that, accept I no don't for an answer? Everybody's everybody's different. You can't. I, I try to tell people all the time. Everybody's different. It's some men that do the bullshit. It's some men that be no, straightforward. You can't say that. I mean, it's it's, that's, it's what you choose. If that's the case, I can really sit there and choose. say, um, women, some women are like, and I could put everything on y'all, but I'm not gonna do that. No, no, no. I don't that, my, my my focus is not to put emphasis on the wrong my emphasis is, is to say if i've decided or you've decided to walk away then why is it that we as partners cannot just amicably walk away from one well, another that's emotions it's that's almost emo- it's, it seems like we fight you for can't, toxicity listen, listen, no, no 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 you you can yeah, do that emotions. but if something just happened you're not gonna be able to just do that right. you're not gonna be able to just you're gonna just be able to talk about it and um and, and everything be good you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I just went through something in the car. I ain't talking to her so, right now, but right. I'm going to talk in a little while. You know right, what I'm saying? So she's that's smiling, though. You, you, right, yeah, right. so she's smiling, you be all right. Because you got to learn who you That's it, man. Yeah. Yeah. We both Virgos. It ain't going to happen. Shout out, Virgo. I'm going to Virgos in the room. Now I know how to calm down. I'm going to chill. I'm going to calm down. Mm-hmm. And then you know what I'm saying, and then we we we'll talk about what we talk about later. Oh, we probably just won't talk about it. Just get over it. That's I, something I learned how to do. Not even let it let it stay around. Yeah, so. I tell people all the time, it's not about the yeah. argument. It's about the conversation. It's not about who winning and who's who's losing. It's about the conversation. We got to come to an agreement. We got to come to a resolution. If we can't come to a resolution, I'm not having a conversation with you because there's no point. I'm gonna tell you something I learned just right now with me, me and Nicole. Mm-hmm. And I was gonna tell her this. I'm gonna say it right now. I, I touched on something mm-hmm. at the wrong time. Mm. I just learned right now. I just touched on something when it was already a little kind of, and, and it, I touched on it at the wrong time. I should have waited when everything was cool and then touched on it. Mm. That's something I just learned. Right mm. now. Yeah, time and time and be so everything. Time. It's time and is everything. So I, I just learned that doing it now, and then and then I, I should have waited, you know, to the time till it was a better time. And, 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 and that's well, I'm a Virgo right too. Now. I don't know if you're a September Virgo, yeah, bro, but... Broke, I can't stand Virgo women. I but just, I'm, I'm a Virgo. I'm a September Virgo. <laughs> and I them. have been accused of bringing up things at the wrong time. And I'm guilty of it. And I appreciate you as a, from a male point of view, from a, not, yeah. from, a, from a king's point of view, mm-hmm. to be able to say, I acknowledge that I was... I could have done better. I appreciate you. But see, but this is a, now. Now you, I, I'm glad. I'm glad you say you appreciate it because some people don't appreciate it. And when you get better, and <laughs> some people don't appreciate it. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, when I was younger, I knew Whit for a long time. <laughs> Whit knew me when I was a knucklehead. When I was younger, it wouldn't have been like that. Now that I'm older, and I actually stop and think about things, and I don't want to. What am I walking around with beef? I don't want no beef. I'm. I, I feel great. I'm. I'm living good. I'm. I'm alright. I don't want to walk around mad, especially with somebody I'm with. That shit don't make no sense. So even if I do get upset, I'll check myself. I learn how to check myself, bring it down, and get over it quick. You know what I'm saying? So that, I guess I just come with age and, and, and getting more mature. You know what I'm saying? So. Absolutely. I learn how to check myself, too. But then I just you do? get super no, quiet no, and like I, I just disconnect from everything. So I, don't. So, I mean, well, may, maybe I, I, this is also something else I learned. I learned that maybe you got to let people do what they do to, because then uh, before I would get upset at that. Like, you ain't saying you quiet, but then I learned that, all right, this that's maybe how you deal with stuff. So I got to chill and chill. I'll get quiet. I'll go on my phone. I'll put the headphones in and I'll watch something on my phone while I calm right. myself down. And then uh, we'll come back and talk about it, about it later. Right. If, if word. Anything. Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. If, timing is everything. I learned that, so. I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of cold. You know, I just, I, I had a couple of questions for you. Yeah. But basically, all right. So do you have a daughter? Yes. Okay. So your daughter, I'm sure, is young and vibrant as you are. I'm quite sure she's not thinking about marriage at this moment. Mm-hmm. But one day you're going to sit down and you're going to talk to her. And you're going to say, young princess, young queen, um, when it comes to marriage, mm-hmm. What is the timeline to, for dating? If she's dating someone for a year, two years, three years, four no years, wait, hear me out. All right. Just hear me out. What would be your, because, you know, guidance is everything. <laughs> she's going to remember you from here into infinity and, and forever. Mm-hmm. She's going to remember your voice. She's going to remember your guidance, your instruction. So if you say to her, baby girl, you know, you are worth more than rubies. You're worth more than you can't put a dollar amount on your worth. Mm-hmm. So if you're dating someone, intimacy or not, um, you know, whether, you know, I hope that we've established commitment in, in terms of where we're going forward. So then what if she says, well, daddy, I'm looking for, I want a ring. I want to be able to feel like we're moving in a, in a, in a, in a we're going forward and I don't want to waste a lot of time with this person. Are you person. asking for a friend or are you asking for, for his daughter. <laughs> I'm asking. Yeah, right, I just right. know, <laughs> no, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. What do you tell your daughter in terms of her dating someone for too long? What's too long? I mean, what's what's too long? Too long is what you feel is, is a difference. You got to compromise. That's why I learned relationships. You got to compromise. So you can't say you may feel a year is too long. Right? Look, How, but, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look. I hear you. To me, I may a year is. So you don't even know somebody in a year. I mean, I know. So, listen, so so what I'm but saying is, but you could, listen, but you could, you could feel like that, and I could feel like, um, 
five years for me. It's compromising. You can't. We can't go for you, and we can't go for me. You have to find a way to compromise. So if I say five, by five years, I know this, and you say no a year, then I could say, all right, how about we revisit this in three years and see where we at? It's compromising. You have to compromise in a relationship. This is all shit I learned, and you have to. I'm you gonna chime be, in there. Please, please do. What you would you say is your timeline? Whether it's a romance or just a bro, like your brother, your sister, mm-hmm. or your girlfriend, what would you say is a timeline of knowing someone? Ooh. Because I literally just spent like um, four months with somebody and he was like, I know you. And I was like, what? No, no, you don't. Yeah. And I feel like it takes you a good 24 months for me to be able nah. to pinpoint. Nah, people are straight. That's not a time, different. though. That's not, 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 not. Uh, me. I'm the type of person. It's not about a, it's not about a timeline. It's about like the the history. It's about the history that we got, the things that we've done together. I'm figuring to you out. History. It has to have. I'm, listen, I, I'm t- I'm the type of person I can read you as soon as you walk in the room. That's the type of person yeah. I am. As soon as you walk that's in the room, that's a gift. That's disturbing. Yeah, I, they call me that's the human gift. lie detector. But that's a gift. I, I know when you lie. I know when you keep it in a hundred with me. Thing. I'm this being for real. It, it's not about. It's not a. It's, no, you lying. It's not about. It, it, it's not about a time though. Mm-hmm. If if you know somebody, that person knows when you know them. Right. Oh wow. Yeah, that's right. That's a big part. That's a big. That person knows when you know them. I could I could know everything, you know what I'm saying? They I, I know everything. I could tell you little shit. When you walk in, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go back to this, but we just had an issue. When you walk <laughs> in and I could see something that's different, I already know. I already know. It ain't mm-hmm. nothing. You just walk. I, oh, yeah, I, just yeah. at, I know already. Yeah. I know that's every funny. little thing about you. Yeah, I know oh, here you go. Where you walk. If you, if you take a step wrong, mm-hmm. I know you that walking so wrong. Funny. Here you go. Your ankle hurt mm-hmm. because you walking, you ain't walking the way you was walking. <laughs> <laughs> when you know all that, especially you know your lady, yeah, you definitely okay, so know. When your lady, yeah, yeah. But, you, but you gotta take. But this is the problem with dudes. You gotta take the time to de- niggas don't take the time to know their woman. You gotta Ooh. take the time to know your no learn Ooh. your girl. Ooh. You won't uh-huh. have no issues if you learn them. What if you're? What if? What if you are learning your woman? She's learning you, and it's been a year, and you still haven't you thrown still a ring on it. <laughs> 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 all right, let's go on to two years. Let's call it two. That's we, too soon. So right, what's, what's, what's your time period? Three. What's your time period? I think she wants to get married. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, now. you know what it is. I think I'm more interested Man, in. If you don't get, I want to get. I want to get to know cool. you as men I and mean, know what you woman. all want. That's really. I'm gonna throw it back at you. What do you want as men, as successful, well, accomplished you, men? How do you want to approach marriage? So let me ask you something. I'm asking you something right now. If you want to get married, right? Not me. No, you. I'm, no, I'm just saying in general. But if you know, but you'll be talking about whoever wants to get married. That's right? cat. <laughs> if I want to get married, right. Uh, if That's I want to get married, I'm going to get on one knee and propose. Right. If you want to get married, why you can't do the same thing? Why you waiting on me to ask you? Because I'm a woman. I mean, and no, I carry, that's, I carry, that's that pride shit. I carry, I carry, I carry that's your pride. seed. That's pride on me. I nothing. carry your no, seed. No, the Bible. No. Let's go back to the Bible. And we carry the house. The Bible you, talks about the household. The man, I'm glad that you man, said that. Excuse me. The Bible talks about, and I'm not sure we all subscribe to the Bible, but let's just mm-hmm. break it down into society, societal norms. A man has an obligation, like you said, a responsibility. Men have, women have responsibilities. So if we want to just go ahead and go with the patriarchal society we've been following for the last 400,000 years, 3,000 years, it's still up to you to choose your woman. The problem We cannot choose us. You have to choose us. The problem with that is, I, I, I don't live by the... I make my own rules for my life. I don't do that. And if I'm in a relationship, we make our rules. It ain't. I don't. I don't live by what in, in society. If you me, know your woman wants to be engaged, my, you're not worried about that. Hey, hey, here we go. If I know my woman wants, I pay attention to her to know enough to her to know. If she's old fashioned and she's not gonna do it, I'm gonna know that and I'm gonna do it. What I'm saying is, okay, why, why that's do, fair. Why do we have to live by what's in society? We can make our own rules. Why if you want to get married, you know how much of a turn on it is for uh, for. But for me to see, uh, 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 for you to propose to a man, did you ever feel, think about how would we feel? Okay, so I showed a video no. of a woman proposing <laughs> to a man to my mother. That should have turned me on. My mother said, because I was like, Mom, this is just awful. I this might is, even want to get married this and say yes. This is terrible. Yeah, this, I'm I'm not, not even want to no, do it. Let, yes. let, let me tell you what my mother said. My mother said, he must be doing something right. In order for her to get down, like when she, when my mother said that, I was like, "Mom, that's not okay." She was like, "No, he's he's the one." Because obviously, take, she's, but the, my thing is, why not? First of all, I'm gonna tell you like this: men don't, women know what they want with everything. Men don't know what they want. 
We don't we don't know what we, we we could be with y'all for ten years and not know what we want. Some honestly, sometimes we be needing the guidance and, and the going there. Like just like for instance, you could deal with a dude, he would not say you his girl. And then you'd be like, nigga, we've been dealing with each other for a year, nigga. I'm your girl. And you're like, oh yeah, you know what you're right. <laughs> well, I you know what? Really, I said this right. earlier. But I said it to Rico. But, yeah, because we don't really we don't really know what we want. We certain stuff we like we not we know how to provide and, and, and take leadership as a man doing certain things. But when it comes to emotion emotional things like that or doing stuff like that, women are they know what they want and they and you can take control of it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't What's know wrong? But what, but I'm gonna ask this and now we can move forward. We can we can move what completely. We can move. <laughs> what on, we can, we can completely this, move to another conversation. <laughs> I think there is a lack of responsibility of men in 2021, our age group, who are not willing to be able right. to say, "I'm ready," because I'm. First and foremost, I'm making love to you. I'm mm-hmm. sexing you. I'm sexing your mind. I'm sexing your body. I'm, I have full access to you. You've given all of you to me, and I'm still not willing to put a ring on it. Yeah, That's a problem to me, and I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not going to apologize. Excuse I'm me. I'm sorry that I'm not sorry. Um, I think sometimes when you know what it be a hold up with dudes. I'm t- I'm talking about personally a hold up sometimes because we see something in you that we can tell that you're not ready. A lot of times he'd be like, you not, you may be saying that, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. But in reality, you saying that, but you not moving like you ready. God, I had a situation, I, I was examples. in a long-term relationship that recently just ended. Okay. And it was like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. But you not doing nothing, to, you're not showing me. I'm not going to just go off of women just because you're telling me something. Um, what is an example of what you're saying? Because I'm not we understanding until I get oh, an we, example. You want to move in with me, but you can't keep a job. What, no, but we yeah. What, no, listen, listen. Whatever. I it, can't listen, relate. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Exactly. What, 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 what I'm saying Shit is this. Like that. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. Say less. What, right. what, what females, especially younger females, don't understand, and it's cool. This is a job. You you understand that. Both of us. It's a job. It ain't mm-hmm. just. It ain't just fun. It's a job. Like you have to take time to learn me. I have to take time to learn you. You gotta know. Um. What's your love language? What's what, your partner's love language? Right. You gotta know all this stuff. It's a job. But right. it can't be one way. Because sometimes, and this is real, sometimes I'll be feeling like females want you to learn them and know they love language and all that, but all they right. don't want to take the time to learn yours. You're all absolutely all right. That. So and that's the problem. You're absolutely right. It's, for bo- it's for both. It can't be a one way thing. I'm going with you on both. that. I acknowledge that. What would you give advice to the person that is super straight up? Like straight up forward and they're not getting a like an answer that everybody's just lying. I just... For me, I'm, I'm, this is not even Leave for a friend. Me. This is for me. Oof. I feel like Oof. I'm so straight up that the moment you could lie about the small, you could tell me that you reversed into the parking spot, and if I see that you drove into it, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. And that's on you. Yeah, that's like me. Because nah, I just I, feel like, why are you lying? Sne- it feels <laughs> like, sneaky. I don't like feeling yes, like you're like, sneaky. Yeah. Right, right, right. I feel like if you're going to lie like that, yeah. me- like you clearly must be covering something else. Right. And I can't deal with that. So any, it doesn't matter if you said like, "Oh, I had a bagel, but you didn't even eat." I don't, I don't want to talk to because you, you li- because you lied. Yeah, I don't want to talk and to it, you. And it, yeah, but I get that because all that, all that shows is that you gonna lie about anything. If you gonna lie about that, you gonna lie about anything. The big shit I can't expect to believe. If something happened, I can't expect to believe you because you lying about little shit. shit. Okay, so let's talk top five qualities that you would be able to say is respectable and moving forward towards marriage, L- loyalty. Honesty, um, good sex. I feel like it has to be on the list. People actually don't put that on their list for top I five. I don't, I don't. I don't. You could. You you can make. I could teach you, you, you how to have good sex. Yes, you can make. Yeah, sex you can build with each other. You know how. But it has to be top five. No, between loyalty, honesty, good sex. Yeah, because it's somebody you're going to spend the rest of your life And I, I want to say re- spirituality, but that's mine. So I don't know you if that's yeah, everybody's that top five. Right. So go ahead and finish the top two with Education. top five. Excuse I can't me. Talk to nobody that's a dummy. Good night. I'm serious. Like it's, I'm gonna be feeling like I want. You gotta have some type of intelligence with you. The biggest thing for me is that trumps all that shit for me is a female just knowing how to take care of a man. Like I don't ask for a lot. Like I I, I just want help. Mm-hmm. I wash the dishes. You drown. Mm. I watch the clothes. So partnership will be on the list. That's it. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just happening. I, 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 I need wash help dishes. washing my socks Yo, from listen, time to time, baby. Listen, I wa- and I, 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 look, I'm not even telling you. I'm not even telling you to extra snuggle, baby. Because, but, 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 not my boy. You because, man. Because, because the thing is, with younger women, the young, the millenniums, 
They don't understand that. They be so, no. They be acting like, oh, right, fuck out of here, nigga. I ain't so, doing that. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You know what's funny? I don't. They don't. So I feel like I'm. I mean, I'm it. definitely younger than you guys, but I'm not the younger millennium. But I don't believe in <laughs> no, stuff like not. that. No, you're not. You want you want me to say your age? Like you're in your thirties. Yeah, but I'm still not my boy. Three. But I'm still younger than you. Yeah, well, yeah. You're not a millennium. Stop trying to I act like one. I I She's 25. Don't listen to goods. She's 25. She said, I'm, I she said, I'm, she said, I'm you know, I'm not. I don't think. No, you, you are. I you said, should I'm know. not a young girl. You like should know. I'm trying to say about You know, you should know. You are. So what I was going to say is, right, I don't believe in that, like, how you're saying that super, um, it seems like it's super fair, like, you wash the dishes and I fold them. That sounds like a husband and a wife. Be, that don't gotta be. Listen, the thing with that is, <laughs> when I say when I say uh, no, fair. I'm just saying. I, for me, I believe in real roles. Oh, so for me, like, you would never do laundry. Like, you would never. That's, do okay. I appreciate that. So you know uh, what I mean? Like, right. that's just me. I'll take care of the house. So, but, so in my mind, I feel like if me. we're sharing these duties, what? Like, I feel mm-hmm. like let me go wash this. Just, Go make money. Like I, what other listen, thing? Listen, listen, and I, I totally agree with that. Well, and I totally agree with that. But I'm saying for the millenniums, you have to break it down a different way. So you might have to help bec- until they start understanding that. When, I'm, when I say 50-50, that's 50-50. Just you holding up. If, if I go make the money and I could come home to full my clothes, my clothes clean up, I'm good. I'm so easy. That's what I'm. But this is the number one question, right? Does the food have to be home cooked? Ooh. No. So I'm, I could be like the. So it's going to be fast. I'm easy dial up, to. I'll dial you up anything. Listen, right? Listen, Benny Hanna's, whatever you want. Right. And I know how to cook, but I don't but, want to. But here go the thing, though. Now, 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 now go the thing, though. No. That's cool because at least it's the thought. you putting thought into your relationship. you thinking about your man. That's, that's all I worry about. you thinking about me. You know, I'm, I'm, I just work. I'm outside. You, you making sure I eat because I do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But if we i'm gonna tell you though if we, we trying to get to another place we can't do that because we're wasting too much money mm-hmm. you, want okay. the, you want this big right. house with the, with the fence and you want right. to get this, right. this, this, this wedding gonna cost right. twenty thousand, but Word. you want it you can't order food you right. have to cut back some things so you have to learn how to if only if you know how to make these three things Make those three things. Well, every time you turn around to Amazon, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, but I'm just saying, what if for the I'm saying because I know there's other girls like me. What about I just don't have the time? Like I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna go to work, I'm gonna do something else, and mm-hmm. I, I I'm still gonna check on you. You're still gonna I, eat. I understand, but I understand. we can't save money right there right but, now because but, I don't but, have the time. But what we going what we need to do because we are one, it's not two. We need to sit down and figure it out together. I need to come mm-hmm. to you and say. Listen, we spend too much money with this going. On. I, I know you be you busy, and I know I'm busy. We got to figure something out. Right. You know, so let, what if what if both of us stay in the house Monday and we we meal this, prep for the this, whole week? So it sounds like right. communication no, is I mean, the communication ultimate. Communication is the ultimate, the biggest key. Right. So I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it full circle because I really like to be. Able I'm gonna kill us. Where he at, man? Hit, 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 it sounds like what you're describing to me Ooh. sounds like the really healthy, successful marriage. It does not sound <laughs> like I'm healthily living in a successful but, boyfriend girlfriend. But do, but, but do you understand? I'm pl- before, I feel like I'm playing a role I'm not. But do you understand? So you want to just meet somebody like him and get married? That's not, you You, you can't, that's not. I'm not speaking possible. for myself. I'm talking about how people should approach. That's cat. For the title. Maybe, yeah, because right? because, because, because like, a title, yeah, it's not a title means a, a, a nothing. Ti- it means nothing. I was somebody's girlfriend it's, for fourteen years, and he cheated on me every chance he got. That's so I feel like if God. he was married, Damn. oh my God, I would right. have to stick my head in the sand. What I'm no, saying is, you, you working towards you working towards something. You working towards when you when you marry somebody Key that means that yeah, when you marry somebody that means you are ready to fully commit with everything. That's what being boyfriend and girlfriend is working to that because you have to right. you have to go through that to know that all right, I'm ready now to just completely chill. She she understands me, I understand her and that's it. You can't just get married to something. If y'all still going through little shit, you can't get married. I'm not marrying but I'm still going through little shit with. Like like shit you should know. I'm sitting there like, all right, come it been it been this long already or it been a year and a half. Right. It's been a year. I mean, so you, what you is like know this by now. Why, why are we still mm-hmm. going through these things? Once those things stop those little things that, and you know, you know, just the little things, they, they'll be good. Right. Can I ask a well, question? Yeah. Repeat it, but like, what's the difference between marriage and a real relationship? There we go. Now we're getting Just the title. It's just the title. Repeat the question for the mic. So uh, the question is, what is the difference between marriage and a committed relationship? A title. The title, the piece of paper, the yeah. save the date. I don't even believe in the, and I, I hate the paper. Right. I feel like the, the yeah. marriage is like. Marriage um, is a business. What is it? Like, the, the funny thing is, I was gonna say, I feel like the marriage is a promotion because it's like Ooh, if y'all was already doing things and moving as a power couple, right. then 
the marriage yeah. portion really doesn't mean anything. It just kind of like it's like a little. You're doing bit that of a, for business. Yeah. I'm gonna tell. Yeah, right like, I'm gonna tell you this though. Yeah. I would wanna if if my wife was was with it. I would want to get married without the pay. I want to have the big wedding, mm-hmm. everything, buy rings, do all of that without the. Why, why am I letting them tell me what's what's marriage? Because right. that's nothing but paperwork. I don't. It's nothing but paperwork. I, I hate the, the the whole paperwork shit. But let's be clear Let, about what big... social media has done to us. Someone once told me that uh, between Hollywood, Bollywood, blockbuster. Uh, relationship has been romanticized for women as the man that saves the day, that takes care of the woman, that buys her or whatever, you know, that comes through like Prince Charming. And then the porn industry has become for men in terms of what a woman should look like, throat the babies, right? As well as, you know, sharing her friends or sharing, you know, the mm-hmm. intimacy with another woman. That's what relationship has become in terms of the Porn industry life. as well as the romanticism industry. And I have just really been asked these questions, not for me, goods, to, but, but, to, but to set a standard for our generation. Because you talk about 30, 30, this, 30, that, you're 30. I'm, I'm 37. Okay, so you got it. But my point is you hear how I'm talking. I, I learned the whole lot from being up to this age now. We you all know what? I will and, definitely and say the, I will concur to that. He has learned a lot. Yeah. Because his talk is definitely different from 10 years she ago. Know, yeah, <laughs> so we have minus the fantasism. If we minus fantasy, then we're talking about real friendship. Somebody yeah. actually got your back. Hell right. yeah. I mean, that's what I think marriage is solely. And I feel like I would never marry someone that I, if I didn't feel like that was really my best friend, like, I feel like marriage is the pinnacle of unconditional love. Right. When you right. reach that point right. with that person. Right. Because marriage can get nasty, but I'm thinking to myself, when I walked away from a breakup, it probably was best when that person was my friend because I never, like, walked around like, oh, my God, fuck it, he had a little dick. That's, that yeah, doesn't even when make sense. Friend. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, what? Yeah. So, you like, girls do that. Yeah, girls no. do that. But <laughs> right. I didn't what? do that. You know, it's just like you hold it down. And even if no, you, you wanted t- to walk if you away. Hurt. She, she basically saying if... If, people start if lying. You people with somebody, start opening right. the floodgates. Yeah, but it ain't that. Once you once you get hurt, you do stuff. You do stuff to hurt with people. So if somebody hurt you, you're gonna naturally try to do stuff to hurt them right. because you're hurt. Right. But if you're friends with somebody, she's saying she held it down. She wanted to do it, but it's like this is my friend. I I'm yeah. not. I'm gonna just eat it. Yeah. Not, now I feel I'm like sure. I just would rather love the memory of what I thought you were. Right. Because I don't want to go down a dark place right. with you. So I don't need to do th- none of that. Mm-hmm. Just moving right along. That's what we call respectfully. You're old head now. That's what I'm saying. You're sitting in the old head. <laughs> oh, oh, sir. Oh, Damn. Ain't no such thing as old oh, head when you look this good. Right. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I, I think that um, relationships are, um, you know, to each his own. So we just gonna. I know it's like a rock out there though. It's yeah. like a war going on. It's like a jungle. Oh. So if you were to, y'all better stay together because <laughs> you want to get suited up again. You need an AR because you don't want to get in the dating world. Not right now. It's I tell, terrible. I tell, it's it's bad. Not bad. It's it's terrible. Bad out here in I don't want to be in the dating world. world. You got your good lady. Don't do it. Keep to yourself, him. My you got a good man. Keep him too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Figure it out. If you got I, a good step deck to too, you can do that too. It's whatever. I mean, it's up to you. I'll be trying. It's bad out here. I'm going to do it. Good. When he say you gonna do um, a freestyle? No. No, he said he wasn't already. Uh, I ain't gonna put my man on the spot like that. That's <laughs> right. It's not Can that. Can you talk about the music more? Than you know what it is. You know what it is. I'm gonna break this down to you too about like like the rap and the freestyle. It don't be I don't want to do it. It's just you, you gotta think about how much of these like I get booked for to come to right. It's so hard to get booked for these, and I'm getting booked out to fly out like this weekend. I'm, I gotta go to Orlando because I got booked. To have new stuff, just for every place you go, I'm and I, I'm not the type to, to go rap something. I've said it. That's just that's, whack. That's, so man. it's hard to have new stuff being 12 years like into the game and doing it. Now in the beginning, when I first started, I had mad new shit because I was new. Nobody right, heard me. Right. So I go to these shits. I would rap all day because I. But then when you 12 years in, you, it, you it's hard to find. You know what I'm saying? But if I ain't gonna record it. Then no. that's it. Well, as a hip hop lover, let me just say this: I'm I'm not really worried about your freestyle i'm more into understanding you as, okay. an, as a person and as an artist how you went from freestyle to monetization to yeah, being, yeah, yeah, being yeah. in a position to have a career right. because there's a lot of people who want to rap i was just listening to some 
you meet rappers every day. You meet right, models right, every right. day. You meet IG models right, every day. Right. Mm-hmm. People who are actually successful at music is more along the lines of your story. Mm-hmm. That I'm more along how I want to understand. How do you do it? If there was a one, two, three, like a step one, step two, step three that you can leave with the people, I would prefer that over you yeah, doing a freestyle. That, that's one thing you got to do. I, right, I'm, I'm a fast forward to now, and this is something I just learned now. I learned how to uh, cater to the fans I have. Okay. Meaning, like, even when it comes, like, I right, went to Cologne, for instance. I never, I got into Cologne maybe, like, six months ago. And I got into the hard rock. I got, like, 40 colognes. I started buying them. Like, I got into it. I said, I'm going to make my own cologne. And I went and found the spot. Did it. I said, I'm going to put it out. I was, I was making my cologne for me. I said, nah, I'm going to put this out. I knew cologne would work for me. You and you got to know your, your 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 audience. So I knew Cologne would work for me because how my fans really look at me as like dressing or you know what I'm saying or like being fact. clean or uh-huh. that's how you look at me anyway. Word. So that's gonna work. So if I come out with that, it's gonna work. If I come out with a sneaker, I got a sneaker coming out. That's mm-hmm. gonna work. If I come out with a, um, anything, I learned how to and I didn't know that. I just start thinking like that. I can't come out with a. I right, for instance, that's like somebody um. Somebody, if it was a rapper and he was fat, he can't sell no workout Basically, shit. know how to market nah. yourself. You're going to sell so, a belt. So no, know how to market yourself <laughs> to your fans. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Now, if you fat, you could sell a cupcake. You come out your own God. cupcake and you can sell it. Or his mom. You have to learn how to market to your fans. <laughs> that's that's, it. that's just it. Just went there. But it's the true word is born. If your if your name is is, is is big pop and you got a big pop cupcake coming out, Word. that's what your fans are. You gotta you gotta learn how to market to your fans. Make sure you have a red velvet with an yeah, ice. That's it. Word. <laughs> big pop cupcake. Um, that is hilarious. Well, that's I funny. appreciate the fact that you just said cater to your audience because for example if you have someone an audience of three or ten or fifteen one day that could emerge into an right. audience of a thousand or two thousand or two hundred thousand yeah. and they're riding with you based on your consistency no right you want listen you want you want supporters that's what you want mm. you don't want fans you want supporters because it, I, you could be a fan fans don't support Hello. supporters support Word. so if you if you got a fan I learned that too if you got a fan they gon they go they, they gonna go clip, they gonna go watch, they're gonna do that. But if I come out with a t-shirt, the 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 ten percent out of the hundred and seventy K I got that bought a five percent, that's my supporters. That mean they're gonna support what I do. The other fan, they just fans, they gonna watch it and that's it. But mm-hmm. if I come out with something they don't wanna see, they don't care about make no money or nothing like that, they ain't going they not supporters. So supporters and fans is two totally different things. That is a fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask one last question. You got a big ring on your finger. Right. She looking locked down. Uh, quarantine, uh, quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Doing the question here. You being oh, funny. No, I didn't really. Really? <laughs> really? How is he? Let's see if we can get him on a phone call. So you can't get you on a phone call. You can't. No. Oh. You want me to? No. Oh. No. What I was gonna ask you though was, aside from music, what would you say is your biggest um, style inspiration? I mean, music. you walked in and everybody was like, yo, the, the suit. The suit I'm, I, I'm into fashion, though. I've been so like this. Who would you young. say is your biggest fashion inspiration? Or who is your most favorite designer? That's hard because now I actually like the, uh, the up and comers. Like? Well, I know it's something that you have to like be married I'm, to. Like, at, all of us here have something that we feel like, okay, I always shot. Like, I'm going to always go with you this know store where I because always I shop? love. I you love you and some crazy. You know my favorite store is right now. Tell me, Uniqlo. Oh, I nice. I like Uniqlo. Good job. Good choice. I like Uniqlo. Unexpected. And I feel like Uniqlo. I can see that because Blame. I feel like it's basic, but you can still quality come out with something. And I don't it need a basic. Exactly. Like like you. If you got, if, yeah. if you got, if you got style, I don't. Yeah, I'll be one to do extra. I might do like this is extra to me. This is this a once in a blue. I I don't do that. I like to be plain. Uniqlo is plain. Their stuff is good. Because if I got a pair of sneakers on that costs a thousand dollars, I don't want to go buy a thousand dollar shirt. I don't. I don't like that. That's too much for me. Mm-hmm. It, it like you trying to do too much. So I'll have the sneakers on that costs a thousand dollars. I'll go to Uniqlo and get a shirt or something like that to keep it plain. But you know what I'm saying. And then when you got jewelry too. Mm-hmm. You got I think it's too. Like just too. Brooklyn, right? Yeah, you're doing too much. I don't like to look like I'm doing too much. <laughs> so. I go plain shirt. and you'll do, yeah. yeah, just regular yeah. like that. So Uni- 
I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm even saying it wrong. How, how you say it? Uniglow? Uni, I, I, I said Uniglow. You know fuck it was me. Uniglow. Uni 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 nah, it's not called Uniglow. 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 Uniglow or something like that. Q L O, I think. Yeah. So then we all saying it wrong. We all saying it wrong. We all respect. We know what you're talking about. That's one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite. They got the red lettering. We're all on the same page. Yeah. They colors. They got some. They got some um some good colors. Like honestly, I feel like they kind of like y'all probably weren't shot there, but they kind of like American apparel. Word. They're kind of yeah. like American apparel because a lot of um, too slim for they me keep it standard. Like, like well, everybody that I know that is doing clothes right now, most people are using Uniqlo mm -hmm. or like American, American apparel they used to use, yep. so they can put their logo yep. on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as far as the clothing is concerned, I know that that's um what they're doing with that. But to wrap up this relationships and hip hop segment, you said something earlier about being in a relationship, right? That I feel like I just wanted to counter. Oh man! Oh, oh you! Oh, yeah, why you ain't counter? Let's you said it go. then. Let's go. Y'all always talking on you. Mm. Right. Y'all was nah. hype. Nah. <laughs> you had said something like, to the degree of basically, a woman, mm -hmm. being more, um, I guess, attractive to you by her going after what she wanted, right? Yeah. It's well, you did say that. I you talk about. As far as marriage, yeah. Oh, I, I, I said that's super attractive. I said that, I said that would be super attractive, yeah. So, Oof. in your mind, right, what is it that you feel like would be the biggest thing that you can do as a reversal so that she can feel like that? Um, say yes and be the best husband. <laughs> Just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, All you gotta do you know is why? say yes. You know yes. why? I'm gonna tell you something. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, right? <laughs> oh my God! To say listen, yes. Listen, listen to me. I'm gonna break it down to you. It's it's so big for a woman to get on one knee and propose. That's, that's don't crazy. do that, ladies. That sounds ridiculous. I'm that sounds foolish. Do it. Your mama wouldn't like it. Your auntie wouldn't like it. Your daddy wouldn't like it. Your grandmama wouldn't cool. like it. Don't that's, do it. Don't do it. That's cool. And you'll be sitting there single for the rest of your life. That's and a lie, that's, too. That's the Bible says concur. a man is a man and a that's woman is a woman. I believe. Approach that situation. I don't, who, but who says that? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't believe in that. If you have a dick between your legs, you better figure out how to get on one knee. But who made that rule? Okay, so cool. All right, so 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 hold on. So hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So that's like saying that a woman can't make more than a man. Ain't that a, ain't that a man but supposed to make more than a woman? you have a dick between your legs. I'm asking you a question. So that's like saying a man can't make, a woman can't make more we're than a man. We're not talking about money. Oh, we're, so talking no, about, we're not we're saying talking that. About no, hold on. But so typically, queen, if we get in a relationship. Acknowledge your queen. If we get in a relationship. Your queen, acknowledge your queen. All right, look. If, she's not your king. If we she's get, your queen. If we get in a relationship, right? We, we get in a relationship. Acknowledge your king, too. Listen, <laughs> right, and that's the problem. Y all, y all, y all, this is the problem. Y'all talk about happy wife, happy life. What, what about the happy husband? Okay. So it's you want to be a wife? It's never 50-50. No, you want to be a no, wife? I want to I, I be, be a man. man love sometimes. Right. I want to <laughs> be a man and be treated like a man. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of this. I've got, I said it all. You don't got this thing. You don't got to worry about I'm me treating you like, like, like a queen or, or a woman. I'm going to treat you like that regardless. Wait, I'm sorry. But woman get caught up in happy wife, happy life, then you're not doing your job. So you ain't supposed to do shit. I'm supposed to just do everything, and that's it. No, no, it's 50-50. No. It's not no. like that. You're you right. So that means so there's not enough fact. women stepping up to the plate being right. able to fulfill her role as a wife. Right. As a contender for wife. Right. Okay. Now, now, now I'm with you, though. If Now, if you doing what you're supposed to do right. and a nigga don't want to wife, that nigga's stupid. I'm on your side. I'm not going to fucking go on his side. Thank fucking being the man. Look. Let me talk to the nigga, cause it. No, man, <laughs> call, call a nigga. Yes, it is. You, I got you the just, call, call, call a nigga, yo. Right now. I'm gonna have a talk. Call a friend. I probably know him too. I'm gonna ask George. Who hey Siri. Hey Siri. Call who hurt her. <laughs> hey Siri. Call the asshole. I need to know. I'm holding. What complete. dog was Thank getting you. treated better than you? Oh my bad, Siri. <laughs> What dog was getting treated better than you? <laughs> Sometimes the dog get treated better than the man. Yeah, you what gotta, is it a pool? What Chris Rock said, he said, he said only um, the dog, women, children, and the dog get treated with unconditional love. A man is only love on the fact that he can uh, um, provide. provide something. Yo, look, now look at this. I just had this talk, That's not right? true. Look, I just, had this, I, I just had this talk, right? I'll provide, if you my girl, we good. I'm going to provide. I'm a, I'm a, you don't really got to worry about nothing. I'm real simple. I might tell you to, like I said, just uh, maybe just wash your clothes and fold them. Maybe just cook for me sometimes. Some, and I'm saying sometime when I come home, right? Another thing, one one other thing, and, and this is something I just had to talk about. Just like you want to feel wanted and feel like I'm thinking about you, if you at work, right, and you're working from home, every time I go out, 
I come back in, I bring you lunch. You don't got to get up. You don't got to tell me. You don't got to think about it. I, I'm thinking about you every time I go because I know you're at work and you can't leave. That's me thinking about you. I want to feel like that also, even if it's once in a blue. It's, it don't got to be an everyday thing. But that's it, ain't a, it ain't about money, it ain't about none of that. Just once in a blue, I just want to feel like you think about me. If I come home one day and you're in a lingerie, you thinking about me. Yeah. If, if you call me and say, um, babe, I just got your favorite donuts. You thinking of, it's not nothing yeah. big. I just yeah. want to feel that way sometime. But That's that goes friend. back you know to uh, someone's love language because yeah. for me, I feel like I'm super dramatic. So I, that, that, that's my love language. Mm-hmm. Some people are really dry or really shy. Or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I, rem- I dated somebody before that I felt like somebody else was texting me. Somebody else had to be texting me because when we were in front of each other, he was so like, right. but the text message was like a fucking poet was writing me. So I'm yeah. like, wait, what? What's well, going some, on? But people some people are yeah. nervous. Some people can't yeah. communicate that so, way. So let me ask you something. When you're saying that. So let's say, you're, uh, let's say you generally don't know to do that because it's some women that just don't know to do that. They, they wasn't in those type of relationship. It could be their first relationship, right? Mm-hmm. And let's say that's something that I want and I need. What do we do? Do is, is a fe- like we don't it. suggest to put a ring no, on a nigga. No. We, we suggest do those. Things. <laughs> 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 we don't. We don't skip to the ring. We talk about how a woman can step up, like <laughs> just so we're clear. Okay, cool. Damn, man. I'm. So we, that, we gonna fuck I'm this nigga you. up, man. I'm here. Quarantine, quarantine, I quarantine. Can't wait to see you with the nigga, cause I'm gonna know it's him. Right. Yo, yo, let me have a conversation with you, bro. With the nigga. I'm gonna just pull him to the side. Yeah, like, listen, I did an like... interview my nigga. She was killing me because of you. I'm just right. saying. Yo, what you doing, bro? No, <laughs> but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. So I, say, I plead the fifth. So look, I, so I say something, but that's that's not her. Though. Generally, she just don't know. Is right. Uh, can you say it's right? Does the woman have to learn that, yes. or do I have to accept that it ain't her? I'm gonna well, go with that. That's a actually a, that's a valid, right. excellent like, question. That's excellent. I feel like she should she should learn, learn it to a certain. This is what I personally. It's, me, it's a meeting. It's someone to meet. What is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. What is it? What? I'm not gonna change for nobody. Right. But I'm gonna make adjustments for someone that I see. It's worth it. It's worth it. Right. So it could be something that I really stone cold believe. Like that's me. I'm not. Giving up, I'm not backing up. That's what I do. That's mm-hmm. how I do it. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Yeah. But I'm gonna go back to the drawing board to think about how I'm making you feel. Yeah. Right. Because right. I never want to make what I'm doing and what I'm saying may not always mm. marry. We yeah. are human beings. Mm. Our life is happening right in between yeah, yeah. us right mm-hmm. now. But I never want you to feel that way. My intent with no one is to make them right. feel other than great, other than right. the best, right. other right. than right. number one. So that's just for me. I mean, I think goods you dropped enough just by saying, "All right, cool. You could always propose," which I don't agree with. Don't do that. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but you're saying that if you're not <laughs> coming through as a best friend and a lover and a homie, a homie lover friend, mm-hmm. then perhaps you should get to know your partner in a way that you can make an impactful difference in his day. You know, where you could be able to say, "Listen, I was just thinking about you, and I'm about to just." Sing you lunch, wh- what whatever you, you want to eat. It's right. on me. Yeah, that's simple. That's so simple. And that could cost you thirty Everybody bucks a fee and kind of delivery and all of that. Yeah. And, and then knowing somebody like me, I'll be like, Nah, I'm good. Cause that's me. I'll be like, Nah, nah I'm like, Thank you so much, but I'm good. I probably won't even take it. You only got to spend your money. This was the thought. Mm-hmm. And you were, and you and you log that, or are you gonna blow past that and what? forget that someone actually offered you that's that? Log, I log okay. that I because they do. Wait, you about you me. say you were renege on a gift? No, right. No. That's what I'm. Yeah, because know. I don't like taking it. So I might say if you do that, I might be like, hold on. So right now you said you were renege on a gift. The, my, my first thing would be like, like it would be sweet, but I don't want to make nobody go out there wearing blue. Well, if they're offering, but it. you didn't so, make them do anything. That was I know, what they wanted but to listen, do. Listen, but I still, me knowing me, I still would be like, nah, you don't got, you know, you don't got to do that. Yeah, but that's the but it's my girl. Let me, I'm gonna put so, yeah, I'm a, that's I'm all it is. Yeah, 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 so right. What if you went on a date, right? Mm-hmm. Very first date, right? And Shorty said, "Oh, meet me here, right?" So mm-hmm. y'all, you get there, and y'all have dinner, mm-hmm. and then after the date, she pulls out like two bakrats, like the cologne. Yeah, and we already know that's expensive yeah, cologne. Yeah, so, yeah. but she pulls out two, and you're like, "I want you to have this. You gonna give it back?" I'm a, I'm a. Sit and the date was good, and you like her, and you want to see her again. You gonna give it back? I'm gonna fight with it. Like she, Oof. she would have to tell me, but it, but it's not, but it's not a bad you way. Me back? 
But I'm I think that's stepping no. out of her role as a woman. I think that's too much. Yo, as hold a on, woman. hold on. I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain something because y'all y'all front right now. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna I'm tell you something. I'm, no, I'm gonna sit at the I'm gonna sit at the opposite end. Yo, listen, the table yo, listen, yo, yo, listen. You said I'm a, as a woman, day, though. Okay, maybe you said as a woman. Yeah. That's too much. No, no, it's not. I don't believe it. It depends on where I am in my life first. with the money. Day? But that if I really do, like yeah. somebody, yeah. I, I may do that. I oh, may do that. That's dope. No, 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 that's not it. I may do that. I don't feel like nothing is over overdoing it. It's how you feel. Somebody can make you feel like that. What I'm saying is, but I'm gonna tell you this though. If you did that, right, and the dude was like, "Oh, thank you," did it. You're gonna feel some kind of a way that a nigga just taking something that easy from you. It's true. So that for me, for me, let me tell you this. For me, for so me, I'm hold on. For that's gonna raise. That's gonna raise antennas for me. That yeah, the true. first time, look, we go. I might do that to see, and I, and I buy you, so I'll be like, yeah, I just Ooh. bought this for you the first Ooh. day, and you'd be like, oh, thank you, and take it. I'm gonna look at you like this. Oh, this is you. This is what yeah. you want to expect. This is what you expect. Yeah. Maybe we're now. Not what do you now, mean? But you well, set it up for me to it expect don't matter. that. We don't. We we don't know each other like that. So if you say to me, no, I don't like. Cause you don't know me. I could be a fucking rapist. I could be ever. You want a crazy nigga on your heels? Now I'm on your heels telling you, bitch, I didn't bought you. This I'm bitch. Right. Word, word. I don't you want post, You don't know nothing about me. You supposed to. Me, I'm going to be like, no. If I'm like, because I don't really know you still. I don't, I don't take nothing from nobody. I really know. Like, yo, that's, thank you so much. You don't have to do that. I don't, I don't want to take that. I don't want, yeah. I'm going to tell you that. But if you force like, no, it's all right. But it's are you right. saying that as you're taking the bag? I'm, ta- I'm or saying, you're saying <laughs> No, I'm just saying. Because I'm saying, I said I'm not that. I was like, you know what? This is so nice. Thank you. You shouldn't have did that. It. And I took it. Well, I just, let me, but why wouldn't I, I not take that? that like, like, I don't get to Winnie. Why did you do that in the first place? Why did I do what? What was so great about him that made you buy two? Well, no, actually, in reality, happened, happened I was huh? using the opposite way. As somebody bought me a gift for the first day. Oh, but I'm saying, would you buy someone a, a lavish yeah, gift on the first day? Yeah, why but, you gotta be a sucker? Yeah. But you know why he bought so you? you know, but you know why he bought you a gift? I feel like I had a target on my back. But you know why he bought uh, you a gift? Exactly. No. Uh, huh? No. You know why. For I everything. don't know why. <laughs> when you meet a nigga, a nigga don't a nigga don't want to get to know you. He want to He want to get to know something. Oh, but it what doesn't matter to, anyway. What I'm trying to explain to you that. is this. Listen, no, right. But what I'm telling you is this. A nigga go out his way to get the pussy, no Jesus. matter what. He'll do anything. Jesus. Now, Jesus. now let me tell you, son. So that was kind of like a hook, line, and sinker. Anymore. Anymore. I thought it was that dope. That dope to do. If that I was a hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, he wanted to But so how do you feel after I went to sleep and like we just, like I woke up in the morning? No, no, like, that's on him. That's on. But listen, listen, how like, you, right. How do you feel about that dead? That's, listen, that's I'm on him. I'm just saying. I know, no, but I'm, what I'm telling you is this. It's not about what you do. I'm telling you, a nigga, I tell I tell women this all the time because I'm a dude. I'm telling you something. Right. We gotta wrap it up. Right. Right. I, I'm telling you this. I this one. A, a dude is going to do whatever to get. When he see you, he don't say, "Damn, she has a beautiful mind." He say, "Damn, she has a fat ass." That's Listen, why I'm let, going me talk, back let me to talk. He black wants to fuck you. Braids period. That, that, and a scully. That's the number one thing he want to do. It's now he don't want to get to know you. Don't want to marry you. Y'all want that from the beginning. Now, and the cost of him wanting to do that, he might start liking you. That's when that come into play. But his first initial reaction is to fuck you. It's not to get to know you. It's not to want to go out with you. He. All That's this a to man's fuck instinct. You. That's I'm just trying to man so, instinct. So what do you call Every a man, man like that? The instinctive. I'm a man. I'm a man. I want to get to know her. Yeah. But, uh, Damn that ass like, fat. I want to yeah, see how she thinks. Nah, nigga don't, nigga don't do that. Oh. Her brain looks beautiful from here. Right. <laughs> do that. Word. Like, oh so wait, so what do you, you call a woman that does that? That's it. That's it. That's what you call a woman that does that. Women, y'all know what y'all want to do. We gotta wrap it up. But that's what I'm saying. What do you call a woman that does that? If you call a man that does that instinctive, what do you call a woman that does that? A cougar. No. What if she's what if she's 25 and she know how to will her? Only cougars do that. No, but that's not. No, but I have I have a woman shake your hand and she knows what she wants to do. Right. Right. I have I know a female right now that is. Doing well for herself. She's 22 years old, and she could buy anybody at this table if she really wanted you. Mm-hmm. That's scary. That she can buy your love. That's not Whitney's scary love, because the bottom love. line is, she can, do that with yeah, she can your soul be bought? See, I can't do that. I ain't No, but that's what he just said. Men are buying your love to, to have sex with no, you. No, no, I get it. But, but that's what I said. What I'm saying is for, for a man, that that's a man number one objective, and y'all females have to understand that. So you could say t- that you took it and yeah. you ain't do nothing with him. Yeah, well, you're supposed to. Well, because he's going to do all this trying to get the pussy and make him do all that. Yeah. I mean, that's a yep. discipline. That's yeah, it. That's, that's a discipline. That's it. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, thank you, Goods, for coming up here. Thank you, Goods. Of course. You going to the next week? I'm here. You sure? I'm here. It's you the Curators I'm Club. Here. You know what we're doing Mr. here Duval, at the Mr. Curators Club. Mr. Club. Outside. I'm about to go yeah. outside. Rico, thank you for sitting in again, too. 
And shout out to you two for being so quiet and patient in the yeah. corner. But we're going to take this out. It's the Curative Club NYC. And I'm Whitney. I'm Kenya. Good night, y'all.